Hi everyone, it's Linnea, and today I'm working with some of the products from the February box from the Hedgehog Hollow. In addition, I am using these Primo watercolor confections, and this is the Pastel Dream set. And this is my first time using it other than swatching them out. And I love these colors. I think they're perfect for spring and for summer, and they remind me of ice cream. So when I first started this card, I thought that I would have stripes alternating of the yellow, a light pink, and then like a mid pink. And I would just go back and forth creating stripes of watercolor down my watercolor cardstock panel. And in the end, once I got some of these colors down, I thought that I wanted to use more of them. So I ended up doing a whole rainbow of these pastel colors. And all I did is I have a half oval watercolor wash brush. And I am just putting some stripes of color down so that it doesn't go edge to edge. There's a little bit of a white border. And I'm using a variety of the colors here. And I am just adding color um, with quite a bit of water because I wanted them to stay lighter at the top and be heavier color at the bottom. So I've kind of diluted these colors a little bit, but these are pastel colors and that is one of the reasons why I love them. So I ended up starting with yellow at the top and going all the way down to like a minty green at the bottom. And I'm just adding these stripes going straight across, horizontally across my card. I didn't add any pencil lines. I thought about grabbing my T-square ruler and adding some guidelines, but I decided to just wing it. And they ended up pretty straight. Some of them kind of curve up at the ends, but I kind of like the look of that. Once I have all of my colors on, I'm gonna grab my heat gun and I'm going to start drying these stripes of colors. Now I took my time, so the yellow stripe and some of the pink ones at the top are almost completely dry. But as I dry this, I'm tilting it up because I want the water, to, the color to pool in the bottom and remain the lighter shade on top. So I am applying some heat to this, but I'm being careful not to blow the watercolor straight across my card because I want to keep it in these puddles that I've already formed with my brush. So I'm just going back and forth alternating with my heat gun between all of the colors so that I can dry them gradually. And I wanted to add some spatters to this and usually I do black but this pastel set doesn't have a black but it does have two shades of brown. So I went with the darker brown and decided to just wing it and we'll see how it goes. And in the end I love this. I think that this background is just so perfectly pastel and then I love those little bits of brown. I think the black would have been too intense for what I was going for. So I have this B chipboard from the chipboard set that came in the February box and this was my definitely my favorite one and I've kind of been saving it. Um, I knew I wanted to alter it so I pressed my Versamark ink all over the top of it and then I added four layers of Ranger Gold embossing powder. And this really makes it look puffy and dimensional and metallic and just all the good things in the world. So I'm just going to dry that with my heat gun and then I'll give you a quick glimpse at this and you're going to be able to see how shiny and metallic this is and I just love it. I grabbed the Buzzin' Around stamp set from Elizabeth Craft Designs and this is exclusive to the February box at the Hedgehog Hollow. And I'm going to ink it up with Versamark ink and use that same Ranger Gold embossing powder on it so that it will match my chipboard B. And I actually ended up doing three layers of gold embossing for the sentiment as well. I added some glue to the back of that chipboard piece and then I'm just gonna set it aside with an acrylic block on it just for about three to five minutes so that the glue can really bond to the paper. And that is it. This is my card. I hope you'll go over to my blog to see some still photos and get some more information about the products I've used. Thank you. Bye.